Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock, and this is Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, checking out the uh, warehouse uh, car warehouse location just today for the uh, new import export uh, DLC. So let's have a look here. So we'll have a look at the uh, car warehouse uh, warehouse descriptions and have a look at the locations themselves. Alright, so these are the locations. There's nine warehouses, nine new car warehouses that you can buy. Alright. Vehicle cargo. There we go. Okay, if you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Hmm, alright. And the most expensive here. Marietta Heights. Warehouse. Here at SecuraServe, we have a dream that one day everyone living in Murrieta Heights will be a billionaire crime lord with an enormous portfolio of nearly new luxury cars. But we also know that every journey of a thousand miles begins with a single warehouse full of stolen goods. Step up, be the hope, pocket the change. <laughs> All right, Murrieta Heights. Hello, everyone. All right, so this is the uh, the car warehouse, the most expensive car warehouse out of the nine. So there are nine total car warehouses, and this is the uh, Marietta Heights, yeah, Marietta Heights warehouse, and it's uh, two point eight million and fifty thousand, so two million eight hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh, hello. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's your EA. Look, mm. I really think you should check out this vehicle cargo opportunity and the SecuraServe network here at the office. You'll thank me. I am. I am. She, she's persistent. It's like the third or fourth time she's called her, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so here's the uh, the car warehouse, the Myriad Heights. Now, if we have a look on our map here, it should be safe to do that here. Let's see where it is on the map. It's the most expensive, most people imagine, because it has access to the highway right here. And in general, it might save you time bringing those cars all the way across the map to here. Okay. All right. So that is the Murrieta Heights. Now, I should say some people are not completely happy with it. In my opinion, I'm not going to buy it, not just because of the price, but, you know, it's a little tight in here. It's okay for our buzzard here, but... You know, for a, a cargo bob and other things like that that you uh, might want to use in your missions, it's a little tight in and, in and around this area. And some people find that sometimes it'll spawn you across the road, you know, disorient you. It's not, uh, not the easiest to navigate. It's okay, I suppose, and again, it has this close-by access to the highway, so to some people it makes it all worthwhile. And that's Myriad Heights. All right. Next up, we have La Porta Vehicle Warehouse. If buying a red brick warehouse in a blue collar neighborhood and filling it with run registered supercars doesn't count as gentrification, then nothing does. Throw in a flat white served in a throw in a flat white served in a chemistry beaker and consider this community regenerated. This is La Porta. So it's got the big uh, frigid sign on it, ice and storage. Alright. It's actually right over here, this little this little corner right here. Okay. And that's the uh, the second most expensive one, La Porta, and that's 2.7 million. So 2,735,000 for that one. A lot of people actually kind of like it. It's easy access, good road access. You can get through here to the central parts of the city. You can go over that way, you know, to go to the coastline and around the uh, the uh, helicopter spawn area is right over there along with the dock. Yeah, it's not too bad. And it's not too far away from uh, places like our office up in Maze. The Maze Bank West. Yeah. So a lot of people do like this area. Alright. And this was a uh, close, probably second choice for me. I don't know. I was thinking about buying this one, but I think I might not. But this was definitely a close choice. And a lot of people do like this one. Yeah, so we're going to click over to our map here. We'll have a look at where that is. You can see it's right along the coastline. It's got good little access to the highway. Good roads around here. Yeah. And the second most expensive one. 
All right. Next is Cypress Flats Vehicle Warehouse. There's no more discreet place to locate a gigantic storage unit than in a neighborhood full of other gigantic storage units. <laughs> and compared to them, whatever you're planning will almost look legal. All right, that's Cypress Flats. So this is Cypress Flats, and uh, this is uh, 2.6 million. So 2,675,000. Yeah. And it's got an ammunition just around the corner. It's got some good road access, I suppose. Some people don't like that the, uh, the Vogos territory is kind of in this area. We've got a train going by, making all kinds of noise. <laughs> yeah, and they can run into some troubles when you're bringing your stuff through here, so you got to watch out for some of those Vogos. Sometimes you just point their gun you know, in their direction, and they can all be on you and causing damage to your vehicle and cost you profit. So, looking on the map here. That's where it is down here in the bottom right corner of the city. Yeah. There's Cypress Flats. Looks like we've wandered off here. We're over Cypress Flats. Okay. We'll get one last look at it before we move on to Davis, the uh, Franklin's Garage. Okay. There's Cypress Flats. Davis Vehicle Warehouse. Does it qualify as a bonded warehouse if the government just doesn't know it exists? We think so. And we've got another warehouse full of lawyers who will say the same. <laughs> On the market for a limited time only. All right. That's Franklin's. Davis Vehicle Warehouse. So now we're in Davis here. There we go. Franklin's uh, neighborhood, the old neighborhood for CJ and the old San Andreas. It's behind me, Grove Street there. Well, there we go. So yeah, most people know this in single player as Franklin's Garage, right there. But it's a big building, so apparently you can be the other tenant that's in there, taking up all the rest of that space <laughs> for 40 cars. Yeah, so this is the uh, fourth most expensive warehouse, and it's uh, 2.4 million, but it's almost 2.5, so it's 2,495,000. But otherwise, you know, it's uh, got a decent central location. Yeah, some people might, um, you know, might want to watch out for other players in this area because it's. Uh, central location and it does have ballers territory down the way but it is a nice territory a lot of people are already familiar with it from Franklin and the single player yeah I kind of like this one it was a uh, strong contender for my choice but I don't think it's the one I'm gonna go with but I do like it a lot all right that's the uh, the Davis car warehouse oh and for Franklin's here we'll check that map before I move on I kind of forgot there we'll show you guys that so you can see it on the ordering screen anyway, but you know, there's where we are. Alright. Now we'll go on to the next one. LSIA East, Vehicle Warehouse. It's a sad day for democracy when political correctness, liberal media elites, and 19 counts of human trafficking conspire to bring down one of the oldest storage companies in the state. Lesson learned. Don't deal in goods that can testify against you in court. And this place could serve you for decades to come. That's the big house, the otherwise known as the East LSIA Vehicle Warehouse. All right, so here we are at the big house. All right. Yeah, so this is one of the two um, uh, Los Santos uh, International Airport uh, car warehouses you can buy. Okay, and we're going to have a look on the map here. So there's where we are. The other one's over there. We'll get to it in, the, in, a, in a moment. So there's where the big house is. A lot of people kind of like this one. It's tucked away. Yeah. Depends on if you want to be accessible or uh, hidden away. Yeah. So this is the big house. And as you can see, it's got a nice big uh, parking lot here. So lots of room for you and all your friends. <laughs> and lots of room, more specifically, for a cargo bob to land in stuff here. So it's got lots of helicopter room. You know, it's kind of useful that way. It should be easy for almost anybody who can, who can land to maybe land a... Uh, cargo bob with a helicopter with a car here with uh, very little damage so it's kind of nice that way all right and the big house is uh 2.3 million even yep so two million three hundred thousand lsia vehicle warehouse and this would be the west lsia vehicle warehouse okay and if you want your business to inspire the masses this is the location for you 
because when they're queuing for another cavity search at LSIA, the sight of you stepping off your private jet to take delivery of a million dollar hypercar <laughs> will be just the motivation they need to get off their asses and start being incredibly rich. Alright, so here we are. And this is uh, the airport warehouse to a lot of people. It's also the uh, Bilgeco company, by the sign on the front anyway. So, yeah, we'll have a look at where we are on the map here. So I've got my little purple marker there and where we are. We're down just above the airport. And this is the other airport warehouse on the uh, west side here. And this is going to be our choice, I think, because then it puts us right along the coast. We've already got some, some uh, buildings that we already own along the coast. Yeah. Now, some people, you know, this may actually be one of the more unpopular choices, but I like it for a few reasons, but we'll get to that in a minute. But, uh, you know, apparently you can have difficulty ordering your, uh, having your mechanic deliver any vehicles here, because the airport is right here. And at the airport, it generally doesn't let you uh, use the mechanic out there. So you're in this kind of gray area around here where the mechanic can't come. Now that said, once you're aware of that, you know that, or you tell your friends that, it's pretty easy, as we'll see here, to fly around this corner here. And there you are, anywhere in this area, I'm sure, like out here, you'd be able to call the, where the mechanic, no problem. And a lot of times you're spawning in um, other vehicles like the CEO uh, buzzer that I'm in right now. So there's the front of the building here, I want to have a look at that. There's the Bilge Cozine. Shipping service. We'll be shipping all right. <laughs> yeah, loading bays here at front. And you can also go around here to the left. And around the corner here. this way. So I like that. You know, a lot of people find that kind of funny, not easily accessible. I personally kind of like that because if I feel like when you know where you're going, you know, it's a, it's a nice little roundabout way. And, you know, and it also kind of gives it away if I see other people wandering in this area while well, they're either better have this warehouse or they're coming to mess with my stuff. <laughs> you know, So it makes it kind of easy and obvious to tell because not too many people would be wandering through here just for the heck of it. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm going to be buying it, is because it's uh, near the airport, because it's near the coastline like I like, it's near my office, the way it's right west, and um, yeah, I think I'm going to buy this uh, 111 crate warehouse over here, the Zero Gas Building. So I think we'll kind of own this little corner. So that's one of the other personal reasons I have for wanting to buy this warehouse. Yeah. Now if we have a look again on the map here, we zoom out. It does have good access, but it is kind of farther away down the map. Some of those missions, this may take you a longer, longer way to get down here. But there is different ways of going around to it, or around to it. Depends if you want to be on the down low and kept alone to yourself in a corner, or if you want to uh, be somewhere central where it doesn't take you long to get home. It's kind of a player preference if you ask me. I kind of like being left alone in the corner, and, but, you know, to each their own, it's hard and hard to say. Yeah, so... This is the Bilgeco building, I guess, the uh, Western LSI uh, car warehouse. And it is uh, 2,170,000. Okay, so almost 2.2 million. 2,170,000. And now we're going to go check out the Elysian Isle. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, next is the Elysian Island vehicle warehouse. It's down here in the Elysian Island. A little pier here. In a recent survey of warehouse owners in the port area of Los Santos, 94% self-identified as radical entrepreneurs, while only 2% could spell the world this could spell the word tax. Welcome home. Awesome. This is the uh, Lee Shane Isle car warehouse. Looks like it's birth 58, 59, 60. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the door. This is not the one I'm going to buy. Don't think it's birth 57 much better access along here. <laughs> Let's drive right up along there. All right. And the Elysian Isle is uh, 1.9 million, so 1,950,000. Okay, so almost 2 million there for this one, uh, for the Elysian Isle car warehouse. Now, if you have a look on the map, we're way down here. And this is, again, probably one of the farthest away areas to go for your car warehouse. But a lot of people like being left alone to your little corner makes it easy to tell when someone's in your area, as opposed to just passing by. Next up is Alboro Heights Vehicle Warehouse. Who would locate an off-the-books vehicle depot in the middle of a uh, suburban wasteland where the white picket fences got burned for fuel a decade ago? A visionary, cap a visionary venture capitalist with an eye on privacy. That's who. So this is the Alboro Heights Car Warehouse. 
and this is uh, 1,635,000. So 1,635,000. Yeah, we're going to have a look on the map here. Get a little height. And it is right here. So way over here to the right side. One of the farthest away um, car warehouses there is that way, as far as the uh, being away from the central parts of the city. Yeah. But some people like being tucked away, maybe like the dirt road access. But that said, this might be one of the more least popular ones out there. You know, it does save you money. That's obviously one of its more uh, attractive features. But at the same time, if you're going to save money, it might be better off getting one of the other ones. Like the next one we're going to see, La Mesa. So I'll see you guys back here in a minute for that one. And last, the most inexpensive, the La Mesa Vehicle Warehouse. Sure, this part of La Mesa won the LSPD's most gang-related stabbings award three years running. But the previous owner of the spacious depot had the largest collection of authentic customs and border protection agency badges in the state. And his widow is throwing them in as a, in as a sweetener. You can't say fairer than that. Alright, welcome back everybody. So this is the last car warehouse, the cheapest car warehouse out of the nine. That is the La Mesa uh, car warehouse for 1.5 million. So 1,500,000. Okay, let me try to drop down here a little bit. So there it is right there. I know some friends that have that. They're quite happy with it. It's a nice warehouse. I like it. I've been inside ones there. It's nice. It's in the industrial parts of town here, so we'll just kind of get the spin around here. And it is the cheapest, which saves you a lot, you know, compared to a lot of others. You're saving a million dollars for location, so it's not too bad, actually. It's got decent road access, as you can see. Compared to some others, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, so there it is on the map here. There we are. All the way out here. So we're way over here, but it's not quite as far as uh, as the other one, Elboro Heights is. It's a little more closer. Yeah. So this one was a strong contender, just for the price. A lot of people buy it just for the price. In many ways, they all look the same on the inside, right? And it does have kind of uh, good road access in a sense. Yeah, so that is the final one, the cheapest one, La Mesa. Car warehouse. All right, everybody, hopefully that helps you make your decision. I'd probably recommend the cheap one if you're not too sure. But as I've probably already said, you know, you do your special vehicles do come from the uh, the uh, basement of the uh, car warehouse, so it is something to keep in mind. The location might matter to you if you uh, use those vehicles a lot, if you buy them or or keep them down there or use them often. So something to keep in mind when you uh, have a look at some of these warehouses. Okay, guys. So that's all the warehouses there, and we had a look. So hopefully that helps you with your own decision. So we'll come back to our next episode, and we're going to be buying our own, which will be the. Uh, LSIA Vehicle Warehouse, LSIA West. That keeps us along the coastline for our personal choices here. I think I'm going to be also getting the other crate warehouse right here, so it gives us kind of a, a bunch of stuff along the area. All right, we'll see you guys back for that. Thanks for watching. If uh, it helped you out, please give us a like. If you're new, uh, please get the subscribe button. We like new subscribers. It's great to have you with us. Yeah, we'll see you again for the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.